Good morning, it's the Jeffrey G Show. To the party, like he was walking onto a yacht. No one, his scarf it was apricot. Watched himself go but and all the girls dreamed that Jeff be their partner, Jeff be their partner, and Jeff so vain. He probably thinks this song is about him, Jeff so vain. You think this song is about you, don't you, don't you? Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, August. Oh, sorry. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, August 20th, 2013. August 20th. That song I play today because it is my mother's, Mama G's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Uh, she used to sing that song to me when I was little while she was baking cakes or pies. And I was in the kitchen with her, eating dough. Um... So I decided to play that for my opening today. A little Carly Simon, my mom used to love. Um, happy birthday. She didn't want me to say her age, so I'm just going to say 31 plus 31 equals her age. I didn't say it. Um, and I just wrote her a little letter I want to start the show off with. Dear Mom, I just wanted to take a piece of my show and dedicate this letter that I wrote for you. First and foremost, happy birthday. Um, I thank God every day that he gave me to you. I don't think anyone on this planet could handle me the way you can. You have been my mother for 33 years and you have stuck by me through all of my ups and downs. I uh, dealt with my drinking for many years and outbursts. You have lost many nights of sleep because of me. This year, my present to you is my success that I hope to find and a loving son that is there for you anytime you need me. I love you very, very, very much, and I thank you for doing everything you could to make me have a wonderful life and a wonderful childhood. You are the least selfish person I know. Uh, without a mean bone in your body, here's to you and to 62 more years. I love you with all my heart. I'm your son, Jeffrey Thomas. Love you, Mom. Happy birthday. All right. Now she's going to cry and call me. Oh, that letter made me cry. That's the best birthday ever. Trust me. I know my mother. Let's get into the G-spot news, shall we? Alrighty, they're suckers. Royal parents Kate Middleton and Prince William broke wig tradition for the first portrait with their baby son George. They did an official portrait. Kate originally wanted to do candid photos and post them on social media sites. But I bet you they asked the queen and she was like, no, it'll be an official portrait. Suckers, I know. Alrighty, cops were called to the Jupiter, Florida home of singer Olivia Newton-John on Monday to investigate uh, the apparent suicide of an unidentified man. Uh, the victim is not a resident or a family member of Olivia Newton-John. A new theory alleging that the British military murdered Princess Diana emerged over the weekend, just weeks before her 16th anniversary of her death in the Paris car crash. Bruce Jenner finally was able to arrange a reconciliation between his wife, Kris Jenner, and his mother, and they've been feuding for 23 years, and he got them together on Sunday night show of the Kardashians, and they officially made up. Actor Josh Jumel, Fergie's husband attended the ball spa Hearts and Hands for Habitat unveiling on Monday in New York City. Very nice of him, giving back. And Madonna celebrated her 55th birthday 
with daughter Lourdes by her side in the south of France with a Marie Antoinette theme. Alrighty. Lee Thompson Young, star of Disney's The Famous Jet Jackson, has committed suicide yesterday. Police say no note was left, so police have plenty of work ahead of them. The actor was only 29 years old, and several um, celebrities are tweeting out their condolences today. 87-year-old actor Dick Van Dyke narrowly averted a disaster yesterday on an L.A. freeway. His Jaguar burst into flames, but thankfully a man named Jason Pennington pulled over on the 101 and pulled him out of the car and saved his life. So, thank you, Jason. Uh, San Antonio Holmes made a triumphant return to New York just practice after his devastating foot injury. He said he will be game ready. So, let's see. Um, the Calling singer, Alec Ban had released photos of the injury sustained during a violent abduction on Sunday. I guess he was abducted on Sunday. Um, but he's free now, I really don't know. Interesting, it's news to me too. Alrighty, Mr. LeBron James had a police escort to get to the Jay-Z Justin Timberlake concert yesterday in Miami. Miami-Dade Police Department admits its officers broke protocol to give LeBron special treatment um, to get him to the concert, and now it's being under investigation. I feel like the Miami-Dade Police Department always makes errors. Just saying. Uh, Lady Gaga released her video applause yesterday live on Good Morning America. Critics were very wrong. Um, the song is number one, and the video is an amazing masterpiece. She explained um, the inspiration of her song, Applause, while she broke her hip and she was recovering. She was writing her new album, and she missed the applause, not for her, but to make her fans happy. And she just missed that applause, and everyone happy and in the same room together. And don't mess with Mother Monster because she's got like bazillion monsters around, little baby monsters, little monsters they call, that are on her side. If you tweet nasty things about her, they will find you. So Lady Gaga, I love you, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I, gotta, I don't want your little monsters chasing me. Because me and Dutch live for the applause. Lady Gaga, we love you. Alrighty, Mel Gibson is only hitting the gym these days. The 57-year-old is getting ready for his role in Expandables 3. Um, James Lee DiMaggio, who died in a shootout with FBI agents after kidnapping 16-year-old and killing um, her mother and brother, left the victim's family $112,000 uh, to Hannah um, on his life insurance plan. So I guess it's uh, turning a negative situation into at least a kind of positive one. You can't replace your mom or your brother, but or your state of mind, but you have that money coming in. So bless your family. Okay. Unpaid money to Aaron Hernandez is causing a stir. The battle will soon begin between the New England Patriots and the NFL Players Association over money Aaron Hernandez and his can't believe that they are owed. So we're going to be going to court with that. Mexico's, oh my God, this is an awful story. Mexico's flawed school textbooks caused a national embarrassment. So kids went back to school yesterday and they opened their new textbooks, which was filled with several grammatical errors and geographical errors. Um, like, for example, using S instead of C. Um, I don't know what they're going to do about this, but I hope it's fixed soon. Education is very important. A little coffee. 
If you missed the Lindsay Lohan and Oprah interview on Sunday, Lohan talks about alcohol, cocaine, Adderall with um, with the big O. I actually watched it last night on a rerun. It was all right. Justin Bieber, Rihanna, and Lance Bass have had a lot of fun and a wild night. They all went separately to the Jay-Z Timberlake concert. They all had a blast. Guess who's heading to Glee? In a reoccurring role. Me. Just kidding. I clearly can't sing. Um, Demi Lovato, X Factor judge, will be playing Rachel and Santana's friend from New York City, their New York pal. She's heading to Glee for a reoccurring role. Congratulations, Demi. That's awesome. And so everybody, you know, I love my pills and uh, my prescriptions. So my top ten list for today, I think this is my favorite one so far, the top ten reasons to date a pharmacist. And... I've been talking to a pharmacist for years back in Syracuse, but nothing's ever come of it. Here we go. Top 10. Pharmacists play by the rules. People trust them not to take chances when it comes to potent, risky drug interactions. Number 9. Pharmacists are humble and wise enough to suggest seeking a doctor's opinions when they don't have the answers or diagnostic abilities. 8. The smart and sexy white lab coat. Seven, pharmacists have great knowledge of human anatomy. Just saying. Six, pharmacists are in demand and can work almost anywhere. If your job transfers you across the country, your pharmacist partner will likely to transfer too. Five, pharmacists make great money and have job security. We'll always need people to dispense prescriptions and offer over-the-counter medical advice. Four, the fun drug dealer jokes. Three, most pharmacies have strong people skills. Pharmacists have strong people skills. They're friendly, intuitive, gentle, and reassuring. Two, your date will have the ability to make decisions and offer advice on the spot. And the number one reason to date a pharmacist is pharmacists are trained to be very aware of health needs. That makes them extremely good listeners. Where's the one about giving, like, free Percocet and, like, sleeping pills. Just kidding. So those are the top ten reasons to date a pharmacist. So, good morning, good morning, good morning again. All I gotta say is, if you can dream it, you can do it. That's why Walt Disney, my favorite quote now. Uh, the kids went back to school yesterday, so of course, at work, we were so Hello, Dave and I left at like 2.30 or 3 because there was no tables in the restaurant. So I'm starting to get a little discouraged um, with my career, but I'm keep plugging away every day because the moment you stop, man, no opportunities happen. I'm just trying to think of ways, you know, it's so hard. Please, I want my show to take off and just have a career. Um, so, I don't have it with me, but I borrowed a pair of my friend's Spanx, which I'm going to wear on the show, and we're going to contrast the outfit, um, maybe with this one or the one I wore yesterday, and see if I look skinnier, because I looked into the fat freezing lipo, if you can pinch it, we can freeze it, I mean, I'm not like obese, but I do have a little bit of a gut, what if I go like this, um, whatever. Um, so, this is amazing, so this kind of made my day. My video views yesterday started at 18,306, and by last night they were 18,956. That means yesterday I got 605 video views. It is growing every day. I'm almost at 20,000. Um, I'm really excited about that, so thank you everybody, and thank you to all my LinkedIn friends, and Pia Hayes, and Mama G, and everyone for always watching the show, and my brother Matt, uh, the Vasellos, my loyals, thank you, appreciate it. Um, so, my friend Shayna texted me, called me like three times this morning, it's my day off, so I slept in, that's why I'm doing the show late, and yesterday we were talking about how we're always so tired, and we're both think we have the cancer and so does her husband because we're tired all the time because like I mean I don't have any 
diseases, I got my blood work done, but we think we have the cancer. Why, like our bodies are just so tired. I don't know if it's like living in South Florida, the heat, but, or if it's depression, I don't know, but we're tired, we have the cancer maybe, who knows. But I could, she texted me this morning, what, you can't answer the phone? Are you dying of the cancer? Or did you die of cancer and the dogs ate your fingers? You can't dial me back? So she's working today. It's the only time I get to visit her now because she works all the time. But anyways, again, happy birthday, Mama G. We love you. And we're going to close out the show with an oldie but a goodie. A little Mandy Moore candy. Remember her? Um, anything else? Just have a great, totally excellent, awesome day. And don't be GG, GG, STG, GG, 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 STG. One more thing. I was um, talking to my friend Murray yesterday, and on Sunday he went to a barbecue at two lesbians' house. And I guess before he got there, their Yorkie got hit by a car speeding down a side street, and they picked up the dead dog and buried it in their backyard and went on with the barbecue. I would be devastated. I would, like, kill myself if anything happened to my Dutchie or Dookie. But I just thought I'd share that, too. Bye. Have a great day. Say hi to somebody today. I'm so addicted to the love that you're giving to me. Can't do without it. Bonnie's coming hold on me. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Say hi to somebody. Hi, Chelsea Handler. Hi, all. Generous.